All right, so check this out. I filled it up with tap water, and what we're going to do now is we're going to see what our tap water is in parts per million. And as you can see, it's on. And for those of you that, when you hear me say hold, this little button right here, once it's reading how many PPMs is in the water, if you press hold, it holds that. All right, that way, if you can't see it from here, I can push hold. And then I can bring it to you so you can see it. So let's go ahead and put it in there. And oh wow, this water came out pretty good. Usually my city water that I go get from the city is about 150 to 200 ppm. And you can see this one here, I believe it says what, 139. So this is pretty good water. Now let's go ahead and see what happens when we put this through our reverse osmosis. Ladies and gentlemen, just in case you don't know and if you're new here, I don't have a production crew. I don't have any of that stuff. I don't have any fancy stuff. It's just boring old me working with the little things that I have in the background in order to provide you with the information that I can provide you. All right? So as you can hear more than likely, you can hear that it's taking some water and filtering it right now because our reservoir was empty. So what I did was is I rinsed this out with some of my reverse osmosis water off my sink. And so it should be pretty good. It, my sink gives me about 8, 8 to 10 ppms, which is pretty darn good. All right, it just got done through its filtering cycle. So now we have 0.45 gallons of water inside the reservoir. All we have to do is let's go ahead and uh, click in our... What is that? 450 milliliters? So I think I misspoke. We have our smallest is 180 milliliters, 360 milliliters, and then 450 milliliters. So that's what it is. I think I said 150, 300, 450. All right, we've got our handy dandy PPM tester right here. Let's uh, make sure that we reset it. Turn it off, turn it on, and it is on zero. Now let's bring this up here, and let's see if we can test it so that you can see it, and then I'll put it on hold. All right, I don't know what it is yet, but let's take a look. It's, um, it's 11. 11 is good, ladies and gentlemen. My rule of thumb is that I will not change my reverse osmosis filter until after it's at 50 or above 50 because it's hard for you to find any water bottles that you like buy at the gas station or stuff like that that's, you know, close to 10 or 11 like this is. So this is pretty good. And you can take a look at a chart. Just look it up on the Internet. Uh, what is... What is doable as far as water that's safe to drink? And I believe anything between 150 and 200 ppm is considered, is considered potable. But 11, pretty good.